Hello. If older me could tell younger me any piece of advice, it would be to set your expectations low and your excitement high. Welcome, my name is Alistair. I'm your host of The Modern Modernist. Well, this is actually my first YouTube video of the channel. And today we're standing in a 1953 uh, Randy Parks here in Sacramento. Um, it was all the basis of the channel. I've been thinking different ways. How am I going to do videos? Am I going to edit them, make them all fancy? I did spend 10 years in the fashion industry as a photographer before this, so that's something I could do. Or just pick up the phone and like this, record it and go back and forth and just shoot it the way it is and see what happens. So I chose the latter. So uh, yes, I do feature mid-mod homes, mid-century modern, contemporary, new design modern homes. Is that sort of like that's my feature. So I think the uh, contemporary post-mod, I mean, obviously they, their DNA and their history comes from mid-century mods. So let's start with the first one. What is mid-century modern? I'm gonna walk around this house as we talk to you so you can kind of see features. And I love this in the background. There it is, boom. Um, right there, that is just, look at that, boom. Gotta get the little mirrored image, get my fingers right, but that's just perfect, I love that little detail. And I love this fireplace behind me. And in this, the house, this is the best thing ever. I love that window, it's amazing. And there's another one over here, so we'll take a walk. So where are we going? So mid-century modern, why is it called that? Well, it's the middle of the century. I know it sounds basic, but that's literally what it means. It's the middle of the century. So take 1900 and go to 1999, Ixnay, the, the one for the 2000. Look at that window back there too, very, very cool. So anyway, um, there's a lot of people argue the dates of when is mid-century. A common one you hear is like 1937 to 1965. You hear all kinds of dates. Me, I go like it is, the middle of the century. So take 99, divide it into thirds, right? So 1933, and that'll take you all the way up to 1966. That's my math, that's the way I do it. Some people are gonna tell you I'm wrong, but that's just me, that's what I find, it's the middle of the century. So where's mid-mod come from? Well, this foundation, believe it or not, is um, Bauhaus, which was started in Germany, 1919, and was dismantled thanks to those little, little fella running around there from Austria. Um, you know, founded the Nazi party, unfortunately, and uh, Bauhaus was disbanded in 1933, done. But lucky for us, most of its members, guess where they came? The United States, immigrated here, and well, sort of graced us with, with mid-mod. And this is what it is. So Walter Gropius and uh, Mies, M-I-E-S is spelled, um, those two gentlemen, and we kind of, we got their houses. Eichler, String Brothers here in Sacramento, and of course today, Randy Parks. I've been trying to find more information on him. He seems like a pretty important person as far as his homes. Um, they pop up, they're here in Sac only, like this kitchen. I love this thing, 1950s, screaming 1950s. It's amazing, look at that, leave it to Beaver, like probably like put his dishes in that sink and had his mom scream at him because he didn't clean his plate off, right? Um, and then look at like the built-ins in his bedrooms. So I'm gonna go back here, look at this. I just love this, these are just amazing. Look at these built-ins, they're superb. I'll do this backwards, but look at this stuff. I mean, and then down here, let's come down here. Look at these drawers, see, all built in. Like this house is a total fixer upper. We're gonna go in the other room and I'll, you'll see what I mean by fixer upper. Like we can see outdoors without opening a window, but hey, that's what is a fixer upper, right? So uh, same thing, come here, look at this. And that one has a little makeup table right there. And that's what I mean, got holes in the walls, not good. But hey, it's a fixer upper. But you know, it, it's traditional 50s. You got one bath and it's a half on the other side of the house. So very, very cool. And these windows, I can't stop looking at them. Look at that, it's so cool. But uh, come through here and this one, there's your half bath. It's just so 50s. And then that fireplace, this is a kind of a sitting room off the back side. And there it is. So you put a fire in there and just both sides heats the room. It's kind of nice. So your living space heated. Not that, I mean, people frown upon fires these days, but I get that too. And this is kind of an upstairs, um, it's kind of a slanted roof, see? So it's a teenager's room, but this was built original to the house. It was not added on, you know, in the 60s or the 70s. And then there's this closet, look at this. Just this whole wall of closets. Uh, let's find this one. Look at that, so cool. And look at this, there's a skylight right above our heads. Fingers in the way. Here we go, Alistair, figure it out. There we go, look at that, see? So that's just a brilliant little place. Randy Parks. Um, 
as we go out the channel here, this isn't, you know, I don't profess to be an expert on mid-century modern. I don't profess to be an expert on anything. It's a journey. And we're gonna learn together. And we're gonna talk about Strang. We're gonna talk about Eichler, Mies, um, Walter Gropius, Bauhaus. There's so many things on this channel we'll go over and discuss. This is just an entry video. Just, you get to know me, I get to know you in the comments. You know, comment down below as they all say, right? Who knew, but here I am. Um, it's been, like I said, this is just the first video. I'll put the address in here listing. This house is gonna go quick. It'll be gone by the time I have this video up, probably. But people still like to know where stuff is. And it's a cool house by Randy Parks here in Sacramento, California. Once again, my name is Alistair and I'm your host of The Modern Modernist. So be good humans, take care of each other, okay? And uh, have a good day. And there's gonna be many, many more of these videos to come. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.